Republicans made their way to sunny San Diego today. A shadow is being cast, though, by some big-name players over some other potential 2016 presidential candidates who might have hoped this event would give them a bit of a bump. Here's Chief Political Correspondent Carl Cameron. At the Republican National Committee Winter Meeting in San Diego, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker debuts tonight on the 2016 presidential campaign trail. Supporters say his brand of conservatism can unite the Republican establishment and the Tea Party base of the GOP. No small feat. In his book, Walker says 2012 GOP nominee Mitt Romney ran a, quote, lousy campaign. Now mulling a third bid, Romney doesn't think Walker has what it takes to beat Hillary Clinton. Romney's also overshadowing Walker with his own address to the RNC Friday night from the deck of the USS Midway Museum. Today, another potential presidential candidate, Dr. Ben Carson, addressed the group and contrasted the homicidal commitment of ISIS to the complacency of American voters when it comes to values. You've got ISIS. They got the wrong philosophy, but they're willing to die for what they believe while we are busily giving away every belief and every value for the sake of political correctness. We have to change that. The former pediatric neurosurgeon and Tea Party darling apologized recently for alleged plagiarism in his 2012 book, America the Beautiful, and said the publisher is making corrections. Jeb Bush was in California as well today, raising money from former Romney supporters, and is not attending the convention. With Bush and Romney already privately sniping at one another, some conservatives are publicly criticizing both of them as too moderate to lead the GOP in 2016. Nonetheless, the presence of the Romney and Bush names in the race has Walker, Chris Christie of New Jersey, Jersey, Rick Santorum of Pennsylvania, and others accelerating their timetables to avoid being left behind. The RNC has also approved holding its convention in Cleveland in the middle of July next year, shortening the GOP nomination fight to create more time to battle the Democratic nominee, who most Republicans expect will be Hillary Clinton. Both parties have potential presidential prospects with big names, big capacity to raise money, and are well-established politicians in America. And for the some 20 other Republicans looking for the GOP nomination, potentially, they say it's time for change, that those names represent yesterday, and it's time for the future. And Scott Walker has said it's time for a fresh face. He'll be speaking here tonight. And Finally, today, the RNC has decided that the response to President Obama's State of the Union speech next week will be delivered by Iowa freshman Senator Joni Ernst, a military veteran who had a big victory as part of the 2014 midterm election uh, triumph of Republicans to take back the Senate majority, and she'll be responding to the president after it's, after it's completed tomorrow night, Brad. Carl Cameron, live out in San Diego. Carl, thanks.